Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm testing a fitted face mask pattern. The mask looks exactly like you see it here. For this project I used a Cricut free pattern which I'll link in the description below. In order to make the mask you will need some cotton fabric and elastic. First cut out the pattern for the outside and the inside of the mask. You'll notice the inside part is shorter than the outside one. Sew the outside pieces and inside pieces together just like this. As you can see the mask is taking the three-dimensional shape already. Before going further, take your scissors and do a few slits along the seams. Then open up the mask pieces and use your iron to press the middle seams open to look something like this. Do this for the inner and outer pieces of the mask. Fold the sides of the inner piece about a quarter of an inch and sew them into place. Do the same thing with the outer piece. Then fold the sides again about uh, half an inch so you can fit a quarter inch wide elastic inside. After doing that top stitch the center seams. I used a zigzag stitch for that. The next step will be to align the two pieces right sides and the inside and sew the top and bottom. As this didn't go well the first time, I fixed it later, I decided to try again with another mask. As you can see the outside piece ended up being almost the same length as the inner piece, which made it difficult uh, inserting the elastic. For my second test I did the same steps as before, sewing the pieces together, top stitching the center seams. and fold it and sew the sides of the two pieces. This time before folding the sides of the outer piece for the second time I made sure it will be longer than the inner piece. So I aligned the two pieces together and folded the sides of the outer piece making sure it doesn't overlap with the sides of the inner piece. Then made a seam very close to the edge, making the elastic casing as wide as possible. Next I aligned the two pieces right sides and the inside and soon the top and bottom leaving the sides open. Then take your scissors and do a few slits along the seams. Turn the mask inside out. And take an iron to press down the top and bottom seams and use your sewing machine to do a top stitch making sure it lays nice and flat. 
your mask should look just like this. The sides will remain open so you can insert a filter inside. Take your elastic about 20 inches long and a small safety pin and pass it through one side of the mask. Then pass it through the other side without cutting. Now you just need to tie a knot and you're done. I'm really happy with the fit and the fact that the elastic goes around the head instead of the ears. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Stay safe everyone.